Rocky Flats was a secret nuclear weapons facility. It started in 1951, and over the course of almost 40 years, Rocky Flats produced more than 70,000 plutonium pits or triggers for nuclear weapons. Each particular pit cost between four and five million dollars and contained enough breathable particles of plutonium to kill every person on the planet. My name is Kristen Iverson. I grew up in Arvada, Colorado, just a few miles from the Rocky Flats Nuclear Weaponry Facility. Uh, later, like a lot of kids in my neighborhood, I went on to work at the plant myself. I wanted to tell the story of Rocky Flats and also tell the story of my father's alcoholism. And so as a family, we were really unable to deal with my father's alcoholism and our family was disintegrating because of it. And we also couldn't talk about Rocky Flats and our community was disintegrating. It was deeply divided. My book, Full Body Burden, Growing Up in the Nuclear Shadow of Rocky Flats, is a weave of my own personal history and all of the dramatic things that happened at Rocky Flats over the years, much of it unknown to the public. Ultimately, I wanted to put a human face on what I felt was a very inhumane story. My parents thought they were raising their four children in the most idyllic environment. Then we were outside all the time, riding our horses in the fields around Rocky Flats, swimming in Stanley Lake, which was and is contaminated with plutonium. There were many, many environmental disasters at Rocky Flats, more than 200 fires, um, extensive radioactive and toxic contamination in the soil and the water and the air and there was huge fire at the plant. We came very, very close to a Chernobyl-like accident at that time. There's a very strong sense of family, of community, of the workers at Rocky Flats. Uh, many people, of course, were proud of the work that they did there. There were some workers who felt deeply conflicted about it, um, and others who hated their work there and, and knew what they were doing and, and didn't want to be part of it. The writing of this book and just getting the story out there uh, has made a difference in my community and also a profound uh, difference in my family. That we're all, in fact, much closer than we ever were growing up as kids. It's really important that we remember the story of Rocky Flats Certainly in my generation, in my parents' generation, we saw a lot of health effects and cancers and thyroid issues and that sort of thing at Rocky Flats, and there have also been DNA changes. We saw a lot of things in the animals, strontium in the bones of the horses, radioactive rabbits, plutonium detected in the bodies of deer and cattle. And these are things that it's not just going to happen and then, then go away. They have long-term lingering effects well into the future. And then the broader issue is, you know, truth and transparency. And how, as citizens and as workers, can we trust our government? Can we trust these private organizations to tell us the truth when they're putting our lives, our health, and even our properties at risk?